It was along the river wind our story long ago begins. Though people here and others near are loath to speak of what has been. Hello, I'm Matthew Lian, a musician, field recordist, producer, and composer. Much of my music draws its inspiration from wilderness, and I think I'm very fortunate to have spent much of my life in the wilderness of northern Canada. In fact, the music, the poem, and the images you see now are all the result of a river expedition last year in the Peel River watershed of Canada's Yukon and Northwest Territories. And this is the focus of the CD I hope to record for all to hear. I've been very lucky, I think, that, that much of my music has found great success in Asia where I have won numerous awards and uh, the music continues to be very popular. But a lot of my inspiration actually comes from the wilderness in Canada and specifically in the Yukon Territory of Canada. Many years ago, we're talking about, wow, maybe 20 years ago, some friends and I started a new kind of a, an exercise in creativity where we would go out into really extreme wilderness areas and travel usually on, on rivers for two to three weeks. For my part, I would record the sound of the wilderness with remote recording equipment and compose music. And a lot of the other friends were photographers, sometimes painters or writers. And when we came off the river, we would put together a kind of a collective project to share our inspiration and the creativity that came from these amazing wilderness areas. This collective exercise uh, we called the Wildlands Projects. What I think we didn't realize at the time was that Wildlands was creating a whole new format for uh, not just music, but all forms of artistic creation. So much of the music from these river expeditions has wound up on many of my CDs and has even been the inspiration for entire CDs. And I believe that it's resulted in some of my best work, mainly because of the experience of just being in that pure wilderness. And uh, all the time, you can do nothing but feel, think, and create. These rivers have, have given me so much inspiration because they all contain their own character and their own stories, both from the nature and the Aboriginal culture there. In 2012, a new wildlands expedition set out on the Wind and Peel rivers, and we traveled hundreds of kilometers by canoe over three weeks' time. During that time, I recorded some amazing nature sound using cutting-edge 3D recording equipment. And I believe the music I composed out there is some of the most inspired music I have ever created. One of the new songs is inspired by a child's gravesite, which is high up in the headwaters of the Wind River. A native elder yeah, had told us where an Aboriginal child had been buried maybe a hundred years ago or, or more. So we followed his directions and sure enough we found this tiny little grave and it was covered with the most beautiful thick bed of ivory colored lichen. And as I stood there in this sacred place, it impressed upon me how this entire watershed is so much more than just what we perceive as wilderness. This is living history. This is generations and generations of people that have lived and died here long before us. They buried her upon the crest, her tiny body facing west, looks out on what she loved the best. The river and her home. So there was a concert which was intended as the grand result, and we pulled together some fantastic musicians to present this music uh, for the audience of people that both already knew about the Peel River watershed, loved it, cared about it, or just wanted to come and hear some good music. And by popular demand, that music is now the subject of this campaign to raise enough funds so that we can record this music and bring it out to a much wider audience. And this is where you come in. 
I plan to record where my best albums have been made at Brian Adams Warehouse Studio in Vancouver, Signature Sound in San Diego, and mastering at Bernie Grunman's in Hollywood. It takes these kind of facilities and their skilled engineers to ensure that our highest potential is achieved. And that means some significant investment. Now we know how to work efficiently, but we don't want to cut the corners that will lessen the final result because we believe the music, these musicians, and most of all, you, the listening audience, are worth it. This is the beauty of something like this Kickstarter campaign is that together, you know, with, with you, and me and the other musicians and people that support this project, we can really create special music and bring it out into the world. So thank you very, very much for taking the time to watch this video and, and hopefully for your support in bringing this music into the world. So hear me, lest you learn too late. The hungry heart best hesitate and not approach those stony gates, for she beside them still awaits. Mm -hmm.